And the National Green Tribunal has now cracked the whip on the government for the oil spill that took place at Enor. NGT has now asked the DG shipping to own up to the oil spill that brought Chennai coastal line to a near standstill. Shweta gets us more details. The NGT has come down hard on the government and other agencies in a hearing of Chennai oil spill case today. Nearly two months have gone, but all the agencies are only trying to pass the buck. The NGT has said that DG Shipping should be responsible for this. They have in fact asked the DG Shipping to provide a comprehensive report as to how much oil was spilled and mitigate the environmental impact as well. The restoration, compensation, liability and who should be liable should also be explained. The case is up for hearing on 26th of April. We'll keep you posted as further developments are expected. In Chennai, Shweta for Magic Bricks now. See, today the case, actually the four applications have come before this Honourable Court. Application 14 and application 16 in which I am appearing for the Government of India on behalf of MOFCC and the National Coastal Zone Management Authority. And the matter has been gone in detail now today and all the advocates from different uh, departments like you know director general of director general shipping and coast guard all of them made their submissions in detail and the matter has been adjourned to 264 it's been adjourned now it's been adjourned uh, with regard to the mofcc whatever no i represented in the court stating that from our part that a complaint has been immediately when the complaint we heard our team, which is the additional PPCF office, Chennai, is the regional office, our MOEF office, regional office is here. The regional office has gone there and inspected and have submitted a report. And that report is under examination under the central ministry now. Our uh, ministry is now examining it. Afterwards, we will file a reply. See, the problem is the jurisdiction point. The jurisdiction point is a very ambiguity is there in that particular uh, issue because the, still now there is no proper guidelines on who has to take up this matter for the insurance claim as well as the damages from the government, from the shipping companies. The problem is the shipping company openly said that so far we have not got the inquiry report and we, so far we have not got a claim from the government to pay them. See unless we give the compensation report to them, they will pay us. They are, they are very clear on the shipping companies are very clear saying that so far we didn't get any kind of a, a claim. Unless we get the claim, we are not able to pay them. So the government has to take the initiative in claiming the money. I don't know why they are delaying it. And still now, the central government comes and says, we take another one month for uh, assessing the damages.